welcome back to Daily Mix. In today's video I'm going to be explaining and demonstrating some of the best beauty hacks which I feel every girl needs to know. If you don't know what a beauty hack is, it's basically just another way of saying a tip or a trick that is all round going to make your life a whole lot easier, which I'm sure we're all about that life. All of these methods are super simple and effective. Some of them you may have already heard of and do quite often and others may be new to you, but either way I hope that you learned something cool today and enjoy the video. If you accumulate any oil throughout the day or if you have generally an oily skin type that you want to keep at bay with or without makeup, then this is going to be the trick for you. All you need to do is take a plain old Kleenex tissue, split it in half so that you just get one of the sheets and you're just going to blot your skin. I've already got my foundation on and I've already got my concealer on and then I blot. The products that you've applied onto your skin actually have some level of oil in them and you will be drawing all of that out. You can also split apart a couple of tissues and pop them in your handbag for blotting films throughout the day. By taking the tiniest amount of hair gel or hairspray on a disposable mascara wand and applying this after you have curled your lashes, your curl will stay all day. I know it sounds a little bit daunting putting a hair product onto your lashes and so close to your eyes, but I'm not joking when I say you need the tiniest amount, but that does work wonders. I can guarantee you that your curl will not budge and then once you've applied mascara on top, your lashes will look incredible. Have you ever had that moment when you've got mascara somewhere that you didn't want it to go? Getting mascara on our lower lash line can ruin all that hard work that we have done with our eyeshadows. All you need to do is just take a spoon, it can be a regular one or a disposable one, and you're just going to slide this under your lower lashes. This is not only going to protect your skin from getting any mascara on it, but it's also going to push up all the lashes, enabling you to grab each and every single one of them with your mascara. Who doesn't love a good old manicure? If you can be a messy pup sometimes, the answer to your prayers is simply a wristband or a rubber band that is going to protect the rest of your nail from getting any nail varnish on it. By using this as a guide, paint with your nail varnish and you will have a clean and crisp line. I hate the smell of most hair products. To solve this problem, I take my regular hairbrush and spritz it from a distance with a decent amount of my favourite body spray or perfume, and then I just comb through my hair as I usually would. It may sound odd, but hair perfume is huge right now, and loads of brands are jumping on this bandwagon, but nobody needs to spend that kind of money. Do this method, and no one will know. Want your lips to look fuller? One of the best things that you can do is apply a gloss or a shimmer to the centre of your lip to capture the light and give the illusion of a fuller pout. This is insanely easy and all you need is a pigment of your choice. I've chosen a pearlescent white one and I'm going to mix this with a tiny bit of clear lip gloss. You only need a small amount of both products. All I do is simply mix it on the back of my hand and then apply it to the desired area with a lip brush. You can do this with all sorts of different colours and it makes a multifunctional use for both your lip glosses and your eyeshadow pigments. I hate it when makeup has to go to waste. If you've spent your good hard earned money on a mascara and it dries out far too quickly, then here is a solution for you. Add a couple of eye drops to it, give the product a good shake and it will be as fresh as though it's just come out of the packet. We've all been there and done that when it comes to getting nail varnish on the skin around the nail. No matter how hard I try, I just cannot seem to get my nails perfect. However, what makes life so much easier is just by applying the tiniest bit of Vaseline or lip balm around the area of the nail and then when you paint it, if you go over the edge, then it will just peel off because that product is not letting it stick or dry to the skin. And then you'll have perfect nails that look professionally done. When it comes to taking off makeup, I'm sure I'm not the only one who wants a fast fix. Well, here's a two in one. This method is gonna take off your makeup so incredibly well, and it's going to condition and nourish your skin. What more could you want? For this, all I do is put a little bit of olive oil in the palm of my hands, I rub my hands together, and then I apply the oil to the skin. This is breaking down and melting all of my makeup in the most gentle and soft way possible, so it's amazing if you have sensitive skin. It also breaks down eye makeup so well. Waterproof mascara doesn't even stand a chance. What the olive oil is essentially doing is it's going to nourish your lashes, it's going to soften the skin, and trust me, once all your makeup is off, your skin will feel like a baby's 
of Bond. And there we have it. I hope that you enjoyed that and found some of it interesting. If you did, then comment below and maybe if you have any beauty hacks of your own, then please do share them with us. If you would like to know any more information, just click on the description box below. But other than that, I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome back to Daily Mix, it's Rapinda here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get this makeup look which is the ideal balance between being really fresh, pretty and natural with that hit of sparkle and glam perfect for Christmas day. To begin with I'm just going to take any old hairband and sweep my hair back just so that it doesn't get in the way. At this point I have no makeup on at all, all I have applied is just some moisturiser and a tinted eye roll on. To add some subtle luminosity, I'm going to take Becca's Radiance Primer and apply this to the high points of my face. That's down the bridge of my nose, along the tips of my cheekbones and a tiny bit on my cupid's bow. All I'm doing here is working the product in with my fingers. For foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD one. I love the medium coverage of this and how it leaves your skin looking flawless but still natural. Unfortunately, I purchased this during summer so it's a little bit too dark for me. I had to mix it with a lighter foundation but all I do is just dot it on my face and then buff it all in. I also just want to say that you don't have to do your base first, you can totally go ahead and do your eyes. However, I just prefer to let the product sink into my skin. For those extra skin touch-ups, I'm not actually going to be using a concealer, instead I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Reformulated Foundation Stick. This covers up any blemishes or problematic areas incredibly well without looking like there is anything there. Taking some plain old sellotape, I'm just going to apply this from the corner of my eye up to the tail of my eyebrow. This is going to catch any fallout from our eyeshadows and keep the edges nice and sharp and precise. To prep the lids for shadow, I'm going to be taking the original Urban Decay Primer Potion and just popping this on with my fingers. For the first of the shadows, I'm using this cream shimmery champagne colour from Inglot. I custom made this palette at iMats this year, however any shimmery champagne colour will do. All I'm doing is just washing this over my entire lid with a dense flat top brush. Then I am taking this shade S6 from the Smashbox Full Exposure palette, which is a shimmery grey silver colour, and I'm applying that literally all over the top of where we have just applied that first shadow. Really go in with a heavy hand with this because, well, you just can't go wrong with a bit of sparkle this time of year. With M6 from that same palette, this is just a matte grey. I'm applying this to the outer corner and also through my crease. Don't worry if this isn't neat, we're going to be blending that all out in a second. Once that's done, all you need to do is take a good old fluffy blending brush and blend, blend, blend until you can blend no more. You just want the colours to be thoroughly diffused into one another. With a tapered fluffy brush, I'm going in with S4 from that same palette and I'm just applying this under the brow bone for a highlight. The shimmer in this is so finely milled that it's not really noticeable but when it captures the light it looks incredible. Now time to take off that sellotape and it doesn't matter at all that it may have taken off some of our makeup. We haven't under eye concealed yet and with whatever's left on your foundation brush we'll sort that out right away. This palette just has Christmas written all over it for me, so I'm going to take it a 